right guys, so I just got back from the car wash. This thing cleaned up pretty nice. Um, there was just so much buildup on it that like it, it was almost impossible to get it completely clean. But uh, I did spend a little more than I normally do, but it is what it is. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take off these plastic covers to the stators under here. These are actually the wires that run to the stator. like somebody's already torn into this too. <laughs> So that popped out. You're gonna have a key shaft right here. That's your eight coil stator. I don't think it matters, but I always look at the way this is going when I take it off. And I always, oh, it's not gonna turn on the thing. Anyways, we're getting there. So this is your coil and it's actually got cobwebs on it. Like spot. Bunch of spiders living in there. Okay, so you're gonna have two eight millimeter bolts there, two eight millimeter bolts on that bracket, and that bracket's to hold this wire down, and then two eight millimeter bolts here, and then it's literally just gonna pop out. Make sure you put that uh that grommet back. That's to keep any dust and everything out of your out of your uh your stator. Um, and while you're in here, just go ahead and like. Clean it all out. Wipe it out as good as you can. And uh, yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and remove that. Now your coil is out. Yeah, there's literally cobwebs and like spider eggs and stuff in here. And it's wet. Oh, probably got wet when I power washed it, I bet. I hope that's why it got wet at least. All right, uh, let me get the towel to wipe that out real quick. I know these people aren't ever cheap with me. That's another reason why I'm using that much brake cleaner because uh, these people are actually willing to pay for the work being done. Also, I want to do a good job. All right, so now grab your new coil, slide your new coil into place. When you're putting all these bolts back in, make sure you hand thread them first, because if you strip one of those, it's a motherfucker to fix it while it's on, while the engine's on here. By the way, take pictures or learn from my mistakes. I had this upside down. That magnet's supposed to be flipped around. Why don't you hand thread it? You can go ahead and tighten it with an impact. Not more than a couple ooga doogas on this. Should be good. Ready to roll, baby. So there's a little key right here. You need to make sure this key lines up with that key, or else it will not go on. 
slide your washer. Why did that slide on? Oh, that's not even your washer. There's your ramp. Make sure you put your washer back on there. And then tighten it back down. Look at the manufacturer specs. If you don't know how much it's supposed to be torqued. I just make sure it's good and tight. Okay, so I have that back on. Now I need to put this back on. That screw was missing. So make sure you're not impacting the shit out of it. Okay, stator's replaced now. 